all right guys welcome back to the video today is going to be about pvsyst solar software tutorial design for anyone who doesn't know or knows about it pvsyst is basically a detail oriented soft solar software design that allows you to simulate your project giving you a report that is going to be very uh, analysis based more technical based so you can you can choose what type of system components you want to adjust the parameters you choose and what type of uh, results you're going to be expecting you know based on the requirements so without further ado make sure you like comment subscribe and let's get into the video so as you can see once you open pvc software you can see there are a couple of options at the top file preliminary design project settings language license and help we're going to ignore that for now but we're going to look at the project design simulations tab where you have three options uh, you have the grid connected you have the standalone or off grid and you have the pumping we're going to go with grid connected for now it's as most common popular so if you want to do grid connected it's going to be more efficient as well I'm just still based on the idea of grid connected so yeah so you can see this project design simulations so there's grid connected standalone off grid and pumping for now we're going to go with grid connected based on the simplicity of the design the project design so when you go for grid connected you're going to be shown with a project section where you can see the project's name, the site file, the location, meteor file, the the, uh, the history or the the database of the database of that file that you chose. You can see there's the client's name not defined, and then right now you can see there's a blue box that tells you please choose the geographical site. So it also helps you step by step telling you what to do as the next steps. So choosing the ge geographical site, I'm gonna be clicking on the site file. And then choose site right there. Now, if you want, you can create a new site, you know, based on your coordinates, your you know, latitude and longitude coordinates. If you have a different location that it's not going to be given in the pre built default uh, database geographical site in PVSYS, then you can definitely go for the new site. But I'm going to go for the uh, custom default geographical site. All right, so as you can see, it's telling you to choose the plane orientation. So this is the orientation. So now I have that open. It's telling me what type of uh, settings, the field type for the solar panels, whether I want it fixed, tilted, so keeping a one uh, fixed angle, or you can you know have it at several orientations, different uh, angles or uh, azimuth angles during the season, seasonal tilt adjustment. So during the season you tilt adjusted, uh, unlimited sheds, one axis tra tracking, single axis tracking, unlimited trackers. Uh, horizontal axis tracking north to south tracking tilted axis tracking vertical axis so two axis tracking two axis frame north south tracking frame east west so the north south east west is basically showing you the uh, landscape or portrait of the solar panels so at the moment i'm just going to go with fixed tilted and you can you know choose your requirements uh, or your settings you know, based on that uh, from the options and then from there you can look at the field parameters so the plane tilt at the moment 30 degrees with azimuth zero so tilt 30 degrees this is the solar panel that's going to be placed you know uh, 30 degrees from the ground and you have the azimuth so as you can see it's going to be facing the sun because since you know, the location islamabad uh, pakistan is at the northern hemisphere in a way that you're going to be facing due south or as you can see this is where it is so it's up to you whether you want to have it in landscape or portrait portrait will be north to south landscape will be east to west orientation uh, the red dot is basically for you to adjust and move the solar panel as well so as you can see the quick optimization telling you how uh, efficient or the uh, transposition or the energy generation would be in throughout the year summer or winter so i'm going to go with the yearly and as you can see at the moment 30 degrees it works best because i'm experiencing zero loss you know and, and with that i'm having a transposition or you can say the uh the global uh the solar generation of 1000 1 1.9 kilowatt hours or 1902 kilowatt hours per meter squared so as you can see so far 30 degrees sounds good i can even add 35 and see how the the grid diagram you know reacts as you can see it gives me 0 0.3 uh, negative 0 0.3 percent loss and yeah so i'm gonna stick with 30 at the moment for yearly optimization and then i'm going to click on ok and next up it's telling me to define system so now it's the main 
this is the main part of the component of the solar system designing is when you're choosing the solar panels choosing the inverters you know what type of system you want to you know uh, generate the power of the solar panels that's going to be generating so as you can see the, at the top you're going to see sub array so the sub array just you know the name of PV array can you can change it you know call it whatever you want uh, at the moment you know this is the what I've decided defined before fixed up the plane 30 degrees uh, the pre-sizing help you know, that's just telling you if you have any uh, available area in your, in your roof or in your, on the ground, the land available area, you can, you can put that in and it'll help you design the solar systems based on these uh, requirements, requirement, the sizing. The same thing with plant power, you know, any power that you know, the solar panels can generate or you can estimate how much uh, energy or power consumption there is for your house. Uh, residential commercial energy consumption you can enter that and it'll design or select this appropriate number of PV modules and inverters based on that requirements on the right hand side you can see the list of sub arrays this will give you a total summary of rundown of how many solar panels and the number of PV arrays modules inverter strings and PPTs all that sort of stuff and the bottom you can see the global system summary so again it'll give you another summary rundown of the number of modules module area number of inverters nominal PV power maximum PV power, nominal AC power, and the P-nominal ratio. So let's select the PV module. You can see the blue box, the rectangular box. I'm just going to go with uh, available now, uh, GA Solar. You know, just, yeah, keep it, keep it safe, keep it simple. GA Solar, uh, which, which, which one should I go for? Should I go with the monocrystalline or polycrystalline? Let's go with polycrystalline. And let's go with 315 watts, you know, seems ideal standard. 315 watts, I'm not going to use a DC optimizer to improve the performance based on the shading. I'm just going to assume I don't have any shade, so no optimizer at the moment. Sizing voltages, so it's telling me the voltage range at VMPT 16 degrees Celsius will be 31.6 volts. And the VOC open circuit voltage at minus 10 degrees Celsius during the winter will be 51.2 volts. So, Based on that, I'm going to be choosing my inverter. Uh, let's go with the... Which inverter should I go with? Okay. All right. Here's the one. Uh, I've changed the inverter 10 kilowatts. Solar max with the four strings. 19 in series. Therefore, 76 solar modules. 140 meters squared. Two inverters. 23.9 kilowatt peak for PV power. Maximum PV power 23.2 kilowatt DC. Nominal AC power 20 kilowatt hours AC with... P nominal ratio 1.197. So this is the optimized uh, number of PV inputs four with four number of strings. So each with one with one to one ratio modules in series 19. Based on that, you can distribute it how many panels will be per string. Uh, yeah, I mean that so far is looking good. You know, I've just decided to upgrade to a five kilowatt to a ten kilowatt inverter. As you can see now, we're good to go. Green light. Detail losses. I'm not going to go into that. Just keep it as it is. You can, you know, mess around with the self-consumption. Add in your uh, residential, commercial, uh, load, energy, load, load energy consumption. How many um, appliances running per hours a day, kilowatt hours. You just give you an idea. And then the storage. Whether you want need a backup storage, you know. But for now, we're not going to use that. Same thing with the horizon. New shadings. You know, if you have a global shading presented during the, you know, daytime. But yeah, energy management, that's the grid, you know, the, the, the grid evaluation, you know, injecting or, or importing or exporting to the grid. I'm not going to touch that, can keep that as it is. And then selling you ready for simulation. So once you go for simulation, so yeah, here is the report. Uh, just giving an overview summary, location, grid connect the solar system, uh, which location, system power 23.94 kilowatt peak, no shadings, you know, uh, location, Islamabad, Pakistan. And moving on to the second page, project summary. So yeah, summary on the location, geographical site, meteor data file, so how I generated the results, the meteor data from that, it was generated, the latitude, longitude, altitude, time zone, uh, albedo, settings system summary so PV field orientation uh, users needs at the moment I didn't said that that's why it's like that system summary information PV array number of modules 76 modules number P nominal total 23.94 kilowatt peak inverters two units P nominal 
total 20 kilowatt hours AC P nominal ratio 1.1897 and then this is the result summary uh, produced energy 37.21 megawatt hours per year civic production performance ratio 81.68 percent so that's the efficiency and the table of contents so as you move on to the page this is the general parameters uh, like I said yeah the model used uh, you know this this is a PV array characteristics so more detailed about the solar PV array the manufacturer GE solar module uh, unit power number of modules nominal STC modules four strings 19 series operating conditions 50 degrees Celsius this is VMPP IMP total PV power total modules module area cell area then the inverter as well you know uh, yeah for 50 percent two units solar power operating voltage p nominal ratio dc to ac ratio total inverter power so yeah array losses as well this is the array losses and then the next page this is the main results this will give you a, a more um, idea better idea overall uh, information of the performance ratio throughout the month throughout the year so you can see how it generally what's the performance like and then the normalized productions per installed kilowatt peak collection loss PVRA losses so that's the purple one 0.83 then the LS the system losses the inverter or not so you can see very less very minimum the green uh, color and the red color is the produced useful energy inverter output so that's that's a good thing you have the useful energy output from the inverter 4.26 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak per day so yeah overall I mean this is the balances and the main results what do you want to look at you know the for, from month to month yearly global horizon how much sun is being produced per day diffuse uh, horizon uh, deflected sun you know whether it deflected the sun the, the rays and then T ambient the ambient temperature in degrees Celsius global inclination uh, I don't know what that is maybe it's about how much sunlight the, uh, the cells are receiving global effective effective sunlight for shadings and whatnot e array so effective energy at the output of the array e grid so effective energy that is injected into grid so how much energy you export to the grid it's showing this very good so you, you know you have the excess energy that you can ex export to the grid PR is a performance ratio like I said you know uh, it's very very good so far showing good system efficiency this is the loss diagram uh, you know just yeah mismatch losses PVR array losses here uh, inverter losses wiring losses mismatch omic losses so it's telling you how much percentage of it is here and yeah this is special graphs you want to look at and you can save it as well the, the PDF report and you can save it as well once you're saved saving the the simulation system project you can have the results overview at the you know right side just for uh, you know, just to look at oh, uh, it's, it's a display and yeah I mean this is it guys this is really what it's like to design a solar software using PVSYST I know it's quite boring you know but it really is quite fun and uh, useful when it comes to having an idea of what type of solar system it will give you pre uh, hand before designing one yourself you know before having it installed physically uh, and visiting the site locations you'll be able to have a rough sketch idea using these this this simulation that's going to be providing you with the uh, analysis report based on the parameters and the and the um, and the sections or the the, the the system design components the detailed losses chosen uh, and economic evaluations energy management and whatnot so you know you can propose this pr pr the PDF report to the client as well and this is overall uh, tutorial tutorial I hope you enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe if, if you want me to do something else something different in terms of uh, solar designing as well please let me know in the comment down below until then I'll see you guys next time take care stay safe and bye bye